Local. You're watching Fox 11 News at 5.30. The ones for news. Governors say testing is key to getting their states back open for business, but they say they need help from the Trump administration getting those tests done. Pressure is growing on governors to lift stay-at-home orders. Here in Arizona, protesters have come to the Capitol for a second day in a row. They once again surrounded the state house in their car. Some of them also got out to demonstrate. They are calling on Governor Doug Ducey to lift the restrictions, which have forced non-essential businesses to close and restaurants to switch to takeout only service. A lot of faith and prayers and the numbers are dropping. And so instead of waiting for the perfect vaccine, which is going to take a long time to it get, and it won't be perfect, just like flu vaccines are never perfect. At this point, we need to be able to get, be given the choice to, to be able to get out and start living our lives again. Protesters also drove around the Capitol yesterday. Similar protests have been taking place around the country. A spokesman for Governor Ducey says he appreciates the passion of the protesters, but will keep following the advice of health officials. The stay-at-home order runs at least through the end of this month. Vice President Mike Pence thanked workers at FEMA headquarters where he participated in a conference call with the nation's governors. He says we are seeing encouraging signs that cases are leveling or going down. As part of the country hopes to move towards a gradual reopening, some states Eight governors are calling for federal help with testing supplies. From the very beginning, when the tests weren't there, to the many, many times we've asked for help and it hasn't come. I, I will always give credit for when the help did come. I'll always say thank you for that. But we still don't have a clear picture on testing. Lawmakers are working on more funding for hospitals and testing as part of the deal to replenish the program, making loans to small businesses. Negotiators say it could pass by the end of the week. The economic fallout from COVID-19 is hitting many in our state pretty hard, and rural communities are facing more funding challenges than urban areas. Fox 11's Megan McNeil explains. Of course they've been hit hard. Their businesses have been uh, decimated. Uh, we don't have the numbers that New York does, but we still have the side effects of this virus. Federal funding through the CARES Act is headed to states, cities, and counties, including in Arizona and Pima County. 